is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com, coming to you for our weekly Friday live streams where we really uncover a topic, answer your questions, and my favorite part is take a look at your apps to give you feedback on anything related to app marketing, whether it's revenues, downloads, ASO. And today, good news and bad news, right? <laughs> the good, let's start with the bad news. The bad news is the guest that we had on to talk about UX, he ended up canceling, could not make it happen, completely understand. The good news is that allowed me to then do a solo episode where I can just really dive deep on a topic. And today we're going to talk all about Google Play ASO, some of the tests that we've been running on our end, some of the results from these tests, although they're early, I want to provide you guys with some answers with just maybe a leg up on what other people might not be doing yet. And so that you can hopefully get some leg up. And so it's all about Google Play ASO. If you are only on iOS, I think you'll get some things out of it too, because I'm going to talk about how some things work for iOS versus Google Play. And so don't worry if you're on iOS only, you'll be there. All right, put in the comments where you guys are at. We're going to take a look at a bunch of different apps. And if you got any questions, leave in the live chat below and I'll get to it. It's, I'm trying out a new platform, so I'll see how all this goes too. All right, make sure you say hi. All right, we've got Dominion here, maker of Spy, run Spy, maker of space in the house. Welcome Dominion. We're going to take a look at your app and give you some ASO strategies. And then we've got Gladios Gaming. Timothy is here. What's how's it going, Timothy? Good to see you, man. And we've got Tyree Tryin. Tryin. I do my best. I'll call you TD. How about that? <laughs> Good to see you, man. Cool. All right, guys. Well, it's just me. So I want to get straight into it. Some of the, the things I want to get into, anyways. So I've got three apps that we're going to go through, and then I will breakdowns as we go through it, it's going to be like a workshop. I'm going to work through all the ASO strategies. And then along the way, share, share with you some strategies that have worked for other clients without revealing the clients. Okay. So let's get to this. So I'm not. So just make sure you understand that, right? And so we're going to take a look at the app and maybe figure out the retention side of things, but understand that maybe, you know, you're going to see some things, you're going to see higher retentions on iOS. Let me see if I can bring my. remove the H2 tags from the Google play long description right here. We removed it and we actually saw a decrease in downloads. And that was all, that was the only thing we really changed within the app. And so I was like, the week after immediately put it back in. And I think we recovered not to the extent that we were before, but we recovered a little bit to those daily downloads. And so the H2 tags are good. You should be using them here. If I look at this real quick and I'll, let me go through sys. Let's see. Boom. Hey, that's it's probably too small. <laughs>
maybe I have to be on. Ah, okay. Thanks, guys. All right. Let me start over. I, I'm using a new platform, and I shouldn't have been using the just new platform because I think I have to be on. Otherwise, so it's good now. Can you guys hear me now? I'll have to wait a little bit. James. Okay. It is okay. So it looks like I have to stay on. Okay. I was trying to remove myself. Enable during screen sharing. Yeah. Okay. I see. All right. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. I was trying to remove myself, but I will try to get it so that you guys can see here. I'll put myself here or here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Sorry about that. I was just trying to see what the best layout is for this. All right. <laughs> this is what happens. Okay. Let me start over. Okay. Let me start over. Good. Yeah. Let's start over. <laughs> Sorry for those who are watching the replay. I can't just make this full screen. Unfortunately. Uh, let's see. How do I do this? Oh, okay. Let's see. All right. Let's try this. Can you guys still hear me? <laughs> Give me a yes, and I'll start over. Okay, awesome. All right, now it's the, the full screen on this. All right, let me start over. So, Gustavo, I don't know where I left you guys. I apologize. This is the problem of switching platforms. I wanted to try this new Melon thing, give it a shot. But we've been using StreamYard. Okay, good. Thanks, guys. All right. So let me just start over. Movie trivia, Gustavo, great job on the app. The One of the things, and I'll just start from take one. One of the things I noticed was you're ranking well for movie trivia, which is awesome because it has pretty good traffic and it's relevant. You have it on the left. So good job starting with movie trivia. But you, I don't think you need to repeat it. I think it might be hurting you. I might be wrong, but that's just something that I would test. And as you guys heard before, because I see in the comments, Google is lowering the title character limit to 30 characters. So you're, this is probably, this is going to be too long. So you're going to end up having to lose it anyways. Okay. The other thing that I noticed was these videos. So what we tested for other clients, and again, this is just for two clients. Okay. So I'm going to look at this real quick with you guys this YouTube video was optimizing. Yeah, I do like it. So you, you're doing a good job here was optimizing this YouTube video. Now, the cool thing about optimizing a YouTube video is you can have keywords, you can have your description, but you can have tags. This is probably too long and I don't like this. This is probably spammed a little bit, but you, I wouldn't make it like this. This is, this is horrible because it's not readable. But what I would do is I don't know what tags you're using because I, it's not visible to the public, but I would try to put some tags in there that are either what I found was, you know, movie titles, right? Similar other apps. And we are testing this with other clients. And what I have noticed is a slight, we have seen an increase in app store visits. And so again, small sample size, but I'm thinking that there's no real downside to optimizing your YouTube video, because I do think that it does help. Okay. And I, I've been testing with a couple of different clients. So I'll have more data for you guys, but we are, because obviously I'm on YouTube. I understand the YouTube algorithm a little bit. I wouldn't consider myself an expert. I do think that optimizing your videos on YouTube, on your Google play actually does help your Google play rankings and visibility. Okay. The other thing I noticed with you are utilizing H2 tags. I know yeah, I probably was on mute on this when I was talking about this, but you are utilizing the H2 tags with the H2 being. So you on Google Play, if you just use H2, it won't bold it. So if you like the bolding element, you're going to have to put, it, put the HTML B. So it's H2, open, bold, and then close the bold, close the H2. But what you're doing wrong, Gustavo, is you want to have good keywords. So this should be movie trivia right? This should be movie quiz. These, should, these, these H2 tags should be the keywords you're targeting in the app stores. Okay. Lastly, what I noticed was, this is for another app that we're about to talk about is think about popular movie titles. Cause when I was, when I was looking at your screenshots, 
let me close this. I noticed, you know, this is Ghostbusters, right? So I, I noticed that and I was looking at this and I was like, oh, okay, there's some really popular movies. So you might think Avengers, you might think, you know, this is Kung Fu Panda. This looks like the Lego story. So when you start putting these keywords of popular movies, look at Ghostbusters, there's a new Ghostbusters that's going to be in play. It's got a lot more traffic than movie trivia. If you think about it. And the difficulty is not that high. Okay. I'm using app radar right now. And I'm, I don't know if you guys missed it, but like app radar, I find to be more accurate from the Google play side of things when it comes to search volume. And so look, think about this goes, and I even put Godfather, it's a little bit more difficult, but you can start inputting a lot more movie titles. And I think that's the special sauce that we do when we have, when we do ASO, we tend to, you know, we tend to really focus in on keyword research. And I feel like that's where the creativity comes in when it comes to ASO, when I'm comparing our ASO efforts with other ASO people, or, you know, we're trying to hire a new ASO person and my keyword research expansion is way longer than what I've seen other people do it. So I feel like that's our secret sauce in helping our clients, especially on Google play. When you have your long description that you have a lot of characters to play with, and even on iOS keyword research is very, very key very important. And I feel like we do, we go above and beyond and we'll try to think cleverly about how we approach this. And we're going to talk about it with you dominion when I'm thinking about keyword research, because I've got your app in here as well. Okay. Uh, let's get into some of the questions that we might have. Now I'm getting the hang of this. All right, guys, sorry about that. I apologize. Uh, yeah. So Trient Tryon says, Another bad news, Google Play. Yeah, I know. Google Play is limiting your app title to 30 characters. So that's what he's talking about. And I think we all have seen that on your end. Okay, let me see. Trina says, I reduced my keywords because of 30 character limit and got revenue down 30%. We've seen the same thing, Tryon. And so what I would say is look at your Google Play data and think through, is it explore or is it search? Because what we're finding is explore. we a lot of clients have taken a big hit with explore. I don't know what happened. And I've asked around just to get a sense. Cause I wanted to create a video out it, out of it for you guys. But what we've experienced is if it's explore, then I don't think there's anything you can do. If it's search, there's a lot of things you can do and we can get into some of those things too. Okay. Do you have any clue when this will be mandatory? Because now only get a warning about this. I don't know when it will be mandatory. Frankly, I don't think it'll ever be mandatory. What will end up happening is that Google will just start indexing the first 30 characters. Cause that's what happened on iOS when they, they went from 50 to 30. And when they went from like 256 to now 50, I think it was 50 before, but same thing happened on iOS. You, if you see there's some apps out there that have longer than 50, 30 characters and they just haven't been updated. And so what Apple does is it just stops indexing from the 30 characters onward. So you can just do that. And then can you please share a link? What do you mean share a link to what? Tell me what you want me to share a link to. To your, to your app dominion, is this you? Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm not sure what you mean. If, if you're talking about your app, it is in the YouTube description. We have all the apps that we look at in the YouTube description. All right. I don't see any other questions. Let me get into the next thing. App. Any questions on that? So I think what we've noticed, just to recap you guys, the new ASO strategies on Google play that we've been testing, definitely using H2 tags in your long description. I feel like with certainty, I can say it does work, right? We tested removing it because I thought it was hurting us. We saw a dip in downloads, added it back, and now we're sort of back to normal. Number two, things you should be testing, optimizing your, here, let me bring this up, optimizing your YouTube video. If you are using a YouTube video, right? Because on Google Play, if you want to use a video, it has to be on YouTube. Yeah, you can only put link it to a YouTube video, all right? So if you are doing that, 
optimize it. We have tested this. We've optimized it for our different clients and we're seeing good results. What you want to be optimizing is this title super important, just like most things. I don't think the description is going to matter, but this description sucks Gustavo. So I would optimize that and then definitely have the right tags. That's going to be helpful. And I can go into how do you do optimize a YouTube video in another, another video, <laughs> if you guys want, because that sort of breaks down and how I think about when I'm doing keyword research on YouTube, what I think about what type of care, you know, like how do I put the title and I can go into that another thing, but if you don't even need that, just make sure you have the main keywords in your title, just one or two, just like you would have here. Right. And I wouldn't repeat it. I might just go after different titles. I might have apps. So I'm trying to rank well for YouTube too. I want to, you don't need this many characters. And then lastly, the tags, the tags are super important. You can go up to 50 characters on the tags. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Dominion, your, your game is in the YouTube skit. So people can check out your game. All right, brother. All right. Try and should I put my keywords back? Test it. Yeah. I have test. I have put it back for other clients where we had 50 characters. So we did add 50 characters back just to see what would happen. We're getting those errors. So yes, you should put it back. Okay. Gladios gaming. What about ad limit? There's many accounts. They have ad limit for more than six months without any reason. I'm not too familiar with ad limit. So I, I don't know about that. I apologize. Thanks for the H2 tip. No problem. Yeah, cool. All right, let's get into the next app and let's see. Boom. All right. <laughs> getting the hang of this, guys. I'm getting the hang of this. I do like this. All right. This is, let's take a look real quick. I got Adita, Aditya, Aditya, Adita. Maybe the Y is silent. Adita. All right. IUV. So I'm having a hard time saying this word. I even have it. Watch how to pronounce it. Let me see if you guys can hear this. Ayurvedic. Ayurvedic. All right. Ayurvedic medicine. That's what this app does. Ayurvedic. So Ayurvedic medicine, we're going to get into it. He, I think it's a, he, he wants to know getting larger downloads. All right. So what I would say, if you're, if I was marketing this in a nutshell, if you're trying to get more downloads, ASO, low hanging fruit, just get it done. It's going to help you. And we'll go into some of the keyword research on that for this, you know, think about like Facebook, think about Google ads, think about those type of things, especially on Google play. What, if you guys have missed it, we did a interview back in the day on a future, future live stream. I apologize. I don't remember the name, but I, we talked about Google play ads and Google play ads, you don't have that much flexibility. So the flex like targeting wise, nothing, it's a black box. Google says, Hey, tell me these parameters and you run it. What you can do though, is have the keywords you're targeting. So this, this word, Ayurvedic, 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 <laughs> Ayurvedic. what you want to have is Ayurvedic, right? in your title, in your description, in your Google ads, in your images, in Google ads. And so Google then, because it's the keyword in there, try to find people interested in Ayurvedic medicine, right? the practice. So that's how I would start thinking about it. Google ads are going to be a lot cheaper. You can say, I'm willing to pay up, give them a cost per install target. They generally hit that cost per install target. You might want to target India because I know it's popular in India. If you're interested in the States, you can do that as well. So that's how I would start approaching marketing and a grander scale. Cause when I'm looking at the downloads, you don't have that many downloads. And what I would be curious about too, is do you have doctors in there? Cause that's an important piece too. All right. So that's on the ASO side. The other ASO thing that I was able to put in here that you guys I'll share with you guys is so Ayurvedic Ayurveda 15, although not a lot has 15 traffic. I was putting neck pain and back pain too. Fortunately, not a lot of traffic. Good news is not that difficult. So these are keywords that you want, like Ayurveda. You want, you definitely want this in the title. 
somewhere and you want it in the H2 tags. So you, you're seeing Ayurveda here a couple of times, but like, that's what you want to put, like get Ayurveda treatment, if that makes sense, or this, this should be an H2 tag, right? So those are things that you start thinking about because you need those to start ranking for it. The cool thing is it doesn't look like it's that difficult 29. So it's not that difficult for you to rank. You want to put Ayurveda in the title somewhere, Ayurveda treatment possibly, right? So that's how you do it. One thing I forgot to do, you guys, is take a look at the app. And so let's take a look at the movie trivia app first, and then we'll take a look at the Ayurveda app as well and give you guys feedback on that. All right. So interesting stuff. Uh, 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 uh. I got some questions for you guys. Okay, I'll get to that as well. Agree. This game has a leaderboard system. You need a name. Okay. Steve. Play. What? This is Pirates of the Caribbean, right? Come on, guys. We know this, right? Pirates of the care now you're gonna care ribby <laughs> uh, and uh, caribbean okay i thought there was an s in there cool ah easy avengers i find this popcorn animation in the background very distracting like i'm getting the headache just watching it because I'm trying to find the characters too. And I'm finding it very... Oh, I love this. Narcos, baby. But yeah, I would kill the animation. Or at least not have it go down. Right, Gustavo? You don't want to go down. Because I'm looking at it. And it's very like distracting to me when it's going down. Now, I did do a, a, a YouTube live stream with somebody else talking about gaming. And he talked about having an animated background actually helped increase retention. So I'm a big believer in that having this animated background but the way you're animating it is making me dizzy so just fyi on that could be just that i'm old as well to get back into it all right i'll do one more narcos cool so when i'm thinking about games and again i'm not an expert on games but when i'm thinking about this stuff I think you should have some energy as I'm playing each round. It's an opportunity for you to make some money. Okay. Now I don't like interstitial ads, but I love rewarded videos. Now I could be dead wrong in the interstitial ads. So make sure you test, but I hate them. I know they work sometimes, but I think this is an opportunity. So I am playing a lot. Obviously I'm winning. But each win is an opportunity. So if you look at other games, usually, especially with trivia type of apps, usually, I expend, I have to spend energy to keep playing. So each round, I'm spending $5 or five energy coins, five energy coins, and then I run out. Because one of the things that you want to do with games is give them a little bit and make them want some more, right, later on. And again, back on my earlier podcast, one of the guys from Backflip, he said, I monetize off of impatience. And if you think about Clash of Clans, you think about all these things, they're monetizing off of impatience. Build an army, build a clan, build the castle. And, oh, you got to wait three hours. You want to speed it up, start paying. So here's an opportunity, and we are testing this. We have a couple of different gaming clients that I'm trying to test different monetization strategies with him. And so I'll have more insights for you, but I think this is an opportunity that you can use. Otherwise, it's a good game besides the... Moving the background. Okay, and I think this is categories two. But what is this? This three. I don't know what this three is. I'm not able to hit it. I'm not able to hit that. Need hints? Okay, I like that. I love how these are locked. Okay, I like that. And I think with Google Play, you're going to have to do this instead of having people buy hints because... 
it's just going to probably monetize better on that. What I would suggest on this is probably increased in the price, Gustavo, versus 199. If somebody wants to buy 100 hits, they probably love your app. And so they're probably willing to pay more than just a dollar. You could probably make a little bit more money on that. All right. Cool. Overall, really good job. It's a good job on that. And then I will get into some of your questions, but let's take a look at the other app. This medicine app. Ayurvedic. Ayurvedic. <laughs> this is Ayurvedic. Search doctors get, again, drunken download. You know, we do have case studies on this. It's, think of this as a drunken download. Search doctors. That means nothing to me. What kind of doctors? Repeat the fact that you are an Ayurvedic, Ayurveda treatment type of app. So just don't say search for doctors. I might have forgot what you did. Okay. Book appointment. I like this. Book a therapist. That might be spelled incorrectly. I think it is, but I don't know if that's different in other countries. That's why. In the U.S., it's 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 a little bit different. All right, therapist. Okay. Okay. So looks like if it might be just just in India. So if it is just in India, I don't have a phone number in India, so I can't change that. If it's just in India, I have put your app. I wanted to get data. I had a feeling about this. The unfortunate thing is now again, app radar could be incorrect on this, but the search volume isn't very high for Ayurvedic or Ayurveda. So this is in India right here. So that's what you're going to be working up against, unfortunately. But yeah, so you're going to have to be careful. And that's why I was thinking Google ads to start. Now, just by having these keywords in your title should help regardless, but you might want to start considering some ads either on Facebook where you can get, and if it's in India, you can get low cost installs on there and Google ads too for there. I'm assuming the doctor is the one that the doctor has to use for that. All right, Dita. Okay. Let's get into some of your questions. I need a sponsor dominion. He says, I need a sponsor for my mobile game. Okay. Good to know. Joshi says, how can you protect your app from getting suspended when you have example, many wallpaper apps, Joshi, uh, that's a hard one because I think what you're going to have to do is possibly create more Google ad account, Google accounts. So, you know, people have done this in the past. They have multiple Google play accounts. They publish pretty much the same code base to these accounts, similar games. And that's the best way of doing it is just, just putting, yeah, having multiple accounts because otherwise they're going to find out. All right, James, for a new app about to launch, how important is it to launch with strong, strong ASO focus or can that be later to, as you get familiar with the niche? James, you know, I feel like it's a, it's a great question. I feel like it's one of these things where it's low hanging fruit. So if you can, if you know a little bit, then do it. So I would answer it this way. Okay. If you're just trying to get traction for your app, you don't know, actually here, let me rephrase. If you know people are going to search for your app, whether it's meditation, workout, fitness, it's good to have it in there because if you're going to spend money on marketing through other paid channels, it's only going to help your ASO. And it's always good to just have that foothold. You can later do it, right? Like we, that's just how we make our business. People launch their apps. They come to us and like, can you help me with ASO now? So you can't do it without it. It's perfectly fine. But if you do have some, just have the basics in there and you'll be okay, right? Now, if it is a social media app where there's not gonna be a lot of search traffic, so like for TikTok, for example, there's nobody's really searching for that type of thing. Nobody's searching for like short videos, right? So people are probably searching for funny videos, but if you're trying to build a social media app and there's not really a keyword that you're like, this is the keyword I have to go after, then it doesn't really matter. Just have some basics in there, do some research and have the basics in there, and that should be just fine. All right. So you don't need to, you don't need to invest in it right off the bat. You can invest it later on. Do, 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 do. Uh, 
Joshi says, you don't have to, you guys were talking back and forth. You don't have to invest in ads right off the bat. I think for a game dominion, you want to really test retention. That's going to be the biggest thing for any game retention, right? Otherwise for like non games, I feel like monetization drives retention, but for games retention is key. So really focus in on that. All right. Tran Trenion. I feel bad now because I can't say <laughs> your name. I watched your channel since 2019. I want to thank, thank you for all your tips. This year, I made over 500,000 downloads on Google Play. So thank you very much. By the way, I'm TT Software on Google Play. All right. Congratulations. So let's look up TT Software. Thank you for the note. Look at you. Okay. I'm going to pull this. So try in. These are all your apps, looks like. Let's look into this. That yeah, looks amazing, man. Congratulations. This is probably the most popular one. So let's take a look at this one. 500,000. Yeah, man. Congrats. 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 I'm just going to look to see if they have any H2 tags. Not yet. Well, I think you just said thanks for the H2 tag. But American Real Car, cool. Congratulations. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you, man. Okay, let's see. Uh, and then Joshi says, want to connect? I have apps with 4 million downloads. All right. <laughs> okay, you guys are talking to each other. Dominion says, I'm looking for an investor. Dominion, like investors these days want to see an app with retention. And so they're not just going to be like, Hey, here's some money, go spend some money on advertising. They want to see some retention. So looking at your app real quick, right? Like you have five reviews, you have 10 plus downloads. What can you do on your own to get downloads, whether it's on Reddit, whether whatever you can do to get a hundred, a thousand, right? It's not hard. There's sweat equity. You're going to have to do that first and foremost. And then you can go to an investor and be like, look, I just need some money to run ads because if I run one ad, it's going to make that much money. They're not just going to, maybe there's some investors out there that's going to be willing to make a bet on you just because of your idea, but that's what you need to do. And one thing I'm concerned about is this is pretty high or unless this is just Megs. Is this, there's, is there like kill a Megs? Yeah, 82. No, that, that is a pretty high. Yeah, 20. See, this is low. So your your file size is pretty high. So think about that too. Because when I looked at your game, don't know why it would be so high. But yeah, think through that too. Okay, let's see. What can I find in mobile and game? Joshi said, would you recommend App Radar? I would recommend App Radar, especially on the Google Play side of things. So yes, I would make that recommendation. Gladio says, does Google suspend the AdMob account if you make earn more than $5,000 or more from apps in one month? I don't think so, but I'm not a AdMob expert, but I don't think so. I don't know why they would do that. All right, cool. I think I'm good. All right, let's get into Dominion's app. He's been waiting patiently. Guys, he's looking for an investor if you guys are interested. So let's take a look at his game. Let's show off his game a bit, huh? It's a cool video. I ended up watching it. I love the music. I'd love to know where you got it. I don't know why this is not working properly. Okay, cool. Yeah, the music's awesome. It looks like the game is cool. Yeah, the gameplay looks cool. All right, let's see what we can do from an ASO. So from an ASO standpoint, it's very not optimized at all, right? Run spy run, and I will pull your game here for you, Dominion. So I can just put run spy run in here. Whoops, run spy run. And there, you're number one, great, but there's no traffic for that keyword. And I have some keywords that I think will be valuable to you, but that's what you want to do. Megaspace, again, 
had no keyword. So I don't know what mega space action really means unless I'm missing something. Maybe it's another game. So let's put space action and then mega space action into app radar. Yeah, again, no traffic for mega space action, space action. So these are just, this is where you want your most important keywords, your title. And you have the keywords have no traffic whatsoever on this. So, and then are you dar are your darling thumbs ready for the action? Again, you want to have good keywords in here that actually have volume that would get you to rank too, right? So definitely change that around. One thing that you can change too is your developer ID. So you just have your name, I'm assuming in there. It's pretty easy to do on Google play in the Google play console. So maybe it's action games or strategy games. You might want to change it to something related to games and that, that does help. I mean, is it going to make a huge difference? Maybe not, but it does give you a little bit of boost where we talked about the YouTube stuff. So optimize that as much as possible. When I click into your YouTube video, you might want to go after like runner games or action games, those type of things in the YouTube video. And I'll, I'll, I'm going to, I'll probably just create another video on how you can do that for, for you guys and what tools I use for the Google play or the YouTube optimization. Again, same things I've talked about. You want to put H2 tags in here and I'll go uh, first and foremost, what you want to do is a lot of keyword research, right? You can invest 29 app radar is just $29 a month in, and this is the plan that I'm using. And so what I've figured out for you is. Think, think through like nostalgic. I know you, you look super young, but think through nostalgic keywords. So I put Rambo in here. I put Contra in here, which was a very popular game when I was younger. And as you can see Rambo, because the type of gameplay you have has pretty decent traffic and low competition. And same with Contra. So think about older games that you're, you might be modeling off of that might not be in the app stores. So we can see what comes up for Rambo right here. See, it's loading. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, App Radar. As I keep talking about Ram that Rambo is a good keyword here. Let's look at Rambo. This will just be faster. Okay. As you can see, there's some people utilizing that term already because they found out that Rambo is a good keyword. But it looks very similar to what you what you have. So monster shooter, let's click on it to this real quick. Rambo Terrorist. <laughs> and they've got over 100,000 downloads. Again, they have 20 megs, which when you look at your app, you've got 100 plus megs. So that, that, could, that could be hurting you. With Google, there are things that they look at. Because Google, you know, you're going to be in like the countries with not super fast internet. You want to have smaller file sizes on Google. Okay. So think about how you can get that down, but that's what I would be doing. And so let's, let's take a look. I'll give you guys another tool that I absolutely love to use too. Uh, let me see here. Let's do this. I use app follow right here. All right. Now with Google, it's a little bit harder to do keyword research, but it's still possible. So what I would do is I would go on iOS. So I'm in the keyword live tracking tool and I'm going to put in Rambo. Okay. I just want to see which keywords rank, which ones do As you can see this, this app is trying to go after those keywords too. I just know having done a lot of this ASO that Rambo is a good keyword. <laughs> I just knew off the top of my head. Right. But if you didn't know, now I'm giving it to you. I do Rambo and Contra. He's going after that too. So I'm just going to click this little button. And what that does is it gives you the, the Apple search ads recommendation. And now you can do off of popularity squid game. Amazing guys. If you guys look at the top games, there's so many games based off the squid games phenomenon that's on Netflix. So the BTD, but these give you keywords, Contra, Contra returns, Rambo, Contra game, bombastic brothers. Cantra, like, you know, like then it starts running out because there's no search volume for these, but these are all good keywords that then you then put into app radar 
in your app. And so let's just say like, all right, uh, I'm probably like top games in 1992. Wolfstein, Dune. Okay, Dune might be interesting. Dragon Quest. Oh, Double Dragon, right? These are, so this is how I started thinking about it too. Like, I'm like, oh, mm, what were popular games that I remember playing as a kid that might be similar to your game, right? So I'm like, all right, Dune, because there's a movie coming out, Dune, Double Dragon. Those in here. Let's pull the data. So Dune, 53. Pretty difficult, but double dragon, 27, 29. So these are all keywords that you should be asked, adding Dominion into your app store, right? That's how you That's how you do it. That's how you start optimizing for it. So whether it's instead of you can keep runs by run, you might want to optimize this. I don't really like this icon, but worth A-B testing. And then put Rambo, you know, shooting action, something like that. And then your short description, you'd be like, did you love Contra and Double Dragon back in the day? Well, then you're going to love Run Spy Run. Something like that. Better. This is me doing it in, on, the, on the fly. But something like that is what you want to do in your short description. And definitely repeat some of those keywords in your long description. Cool. Let's take a look at your app. Run Spy Run. See if I need to change this. Yeah, Unity always leads to bigger file size for some reason. Unity, do a better job. Saucy bro, so you might be doing this to your bro. I like these coins. One of the things you guys might consider doing, and we've actually seen good results on this, is giving away free coins just on first open. So right now it's just this. You can say like, because coins, I don't know how coins come into play. There's zero coins I have right now. But if you gave away, let's say 10,000 coins for free, again, I would increase these prices because look, if somebody's going to buy, very small percentage of people are going to buy. So if they're going to buy, they're very interested in your app. So you could potentially make more money, but you can give away free packs. And then once you say, Hey, claim, you want to double it, watch a video. It's a quick and easy way to make some ad revenue right on first open, right? Give away some coins, allow them to double it by watching the video. And you're going to make some money right off the bat. All right. Hit play. Uh, Okay. Yeah. See, you're trying to get me to watch one, but if you gave me some coins, I feel good. And then I'll watch the video ad to double it. All right. Play. On the screen to lift. Okay. I've seen apps like this. Power ups. Okay. Oof. Time to freeze. This is to freeze the game. So, like, I think pause is probably what you mean. Oh, okay. A change to. Yeah, I think, you know, I think your icon needs some help because your your icon is on the, the block, which I think it'd be cooler to have the icon as the person, the hero, not the villain. Ah! Yeah. Very hard to control, just my feedback. Takes a while. It goes up really fast, so it's very sensitive if I want to go up, and it doesn't come down that fast. So you might want to do these medium parts later on. Yeah. Right, let's see what happens when I die. So I'm just going to die. Let's die. Okay. Because I'm done. I thought I was done. Oh, I thought I was dead. Okay. Mm. I don't know what these skull heads means. You have 400 coins and one death. See, Dominion, you, you're already saying watch a video and get 400 coins. Give away 200 coins in the very beginning and then allow me to double it. Boom. And then 
theoretically I get 400 coins and I don't have to watch a video and you make money too. But here I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm less likely to watch, to tap on this watch video 400 coins thing than if I were, when you gave me, if you were to give me 200 coins and then allowed me to double those coins right off the bat. And I think you can make some money right off the bat there without even getting any users. And we've seen that with other apps. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't like this. I'm just going to nitpick here. I don't like how you're doing. I think this is a Euro and then you have dollar signs, Euro and then dollar right here. Just put 90. I see the coins. I see the thing. So just put 90 versus having the dollar sign there. Yeah. I like this. Good job. The customization customization is going to be key. I like that. I think you'd, I'd rather personally have these like, the hero as your icon versus this here. Like these graphics are really good, right? But the icons, this icon is not that impressive versus all the graphics you have in your game. Cool. That's it. That's all I have to provide for you guys. Okay, let's take a look at some of these questions. Can you give me advice on my game, please? Trayan said, can you advice on my game? Trayan developer, ASO related because I just got, got in on iOS. No problem. What you guys can do is if you want me to take a look at your app, just like we did today, go to appmasters.com slash audit. This, doing this solo gave me some time to kind of get through some of the lists. We do two a week when I have a guest, but since I was doing it solo, I was like, let's focus on Google Play. I found a bunch of Google Play content but we do have a long list and so if you go to appmasters.com slash audit you can do a free one or you can do a paid one with me where we sit down for an hour together okay just watch the vd all right i will reduce the game size cool how young do you think i am well let's see based on your picture right here i would say you're in the you're a teenager so 17 to 19 range how about that all right. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. Oh, okay. This is the app you want me to look at. I get 10 to 15 downloads a day, so not that great. All right. I'm trying to push conversions. Joshi said, we released our app in the middle of September and now have around 10,000 ratings and 300,000 downloads. <laughs> Humble brag here. All right, Joshi. Good job, man. It's just about... ASO IG. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Joshi says, Joshi, maybe it's Joshi. Maybe let's go with that. My business par partner is worried, worrying that if we show the subscription screen too aggressively, that'll directly reduce the ad revenues. Do you have an example of a, for a premium screen? We do have a lot. Take, I, I'd rather look at your game because you know, I don't want to give you a blanket answer, but we have a lot to search which test one and look about the pricing strategies. The, I think in the grand scheme of things, ad revenue, you're beholden to the ad revenue resource, right? If it's ad mob, fungal, whatever the ad network is, you're beholden to them. If you look at some of the YouTube comments, like my ad mob shut, got shut down. How do I make more money? My ad mob revenue just went down. But if you're on subscription, you own the customer. So I personally would rather have more subscri subscribers than ad revenue. The ads are just to make sure that we get more subscribers. All right. Dominion and Mori doing this. Joshi asked, do you have a good, good example of a ratio between IAP and ad revenue for apps such as PDF? Right? Yeah. Especially for these productivity apps, Joshi go after the IAPs versus the the ad revenue, all right? Especially for productivity app. I thought like maybe if I was holding it back because I thought maybe it was a game where ad revenue is sort of important. But I think if it's a productivity app, especially a PDF reader, man, people are killing it without any ads, okay? Subscription wise. Joshi says way too many colors. I think that he's talking about your app, Dominion. And then he says, design UI also need improvements. I agree. Come on. Uh, I think he's 17. All right. I was close. 17, 19. That's what I said. Okay. Tim says, do you, do your clients have any recommendations for best ad networks? 
No, I'm not an expert on that either. So, but I would say ad mob is pretty popular. Depends on the type of ad network. Look at the mediations. It's probably the easiest route you can take. So I think, what is it? Mopub ad mediators are probably the best ones to do. All right, Rudy, you missed it. I'm sorry, bro. And we're going back next week. We go back an hour. So my 9 a.m. Pacific is going to be an hour later. It's theoretically 10 a.m. Pacific. So just know that. I'll send an email to everybody. Josh, you said, didn't want to brag. I just want to help James. <laughs> nah, I feel you, man. Good. Uh, Dominion, I am pushing 30. No shiznit, man. You look hella young court in that picture. Okay. We pretty much have a trash app, but we're in a good niche with good ASO. Good stuff, Joshy. That's all you really need, right? All right, guys. I think that is it on that end. Hope that was helpful for your Google Play ASO. Leave in the comments. If you're watching this live, put it in the chat. Leave in the comments. What was your number one takeaway from Google Play? Maybe something you just discovered on this live stream. Maybe you already knew it, but give me your biggest takeaway. And then... <laughs> he says he's 17. Yeah, you are 17. Okay. Next week, we're going to have a great case study for you guys. I'm super excited to have this guest on. He's been able to triple his revenues. I won't say exactly. Maybe I already gave it away, but I won't say exactly how much he's making. Maybe he'll share it live next Friday. But he's only, the cool thing is, he only gets, and I don't think he minds me sharing this, 15 downloads a day. Now, it is a productivity app, but it is a, an amazing case study. And I've been saying this for some time that if you really want to grow, because I know when you're saying I want to grow, you want to make more money. You're not saying I want more downloads, right? You are saying that, but theoretically, I know what you really mean. You want to make more money. And I, I was saying for the longest time that all you need is 25 downloads a day. What this case study has proven is you only maybe need 15 downloads a day to start optimizing your app and making more money. Rudy, who was in the comments, just he was doing 50 downloads a day and we were able to 17 X and now Woody, you're doing amazing right now. So you can tell me what X we're officially at, but we're able to 17 X his revenues just by changing the product. Now with 15 downloads a day, that's all you really need to start optimizing your product. So th stop thinking about how do I get more downloads to grow? Start thinking about how do I improve my product to make more money out of every single download I get. So join us live next Friday. Again, we're falling back. All right, so we're going to be in a little bit hour, an hour later from whatever time zone you guys are in, but we're falling back. So it's going to officially start at 10 a.m. Pacific, but it will be 9 a.m. I just probably confused myself, but it will be 9 a.m. Pacific time. And I will send you guys an email. Follow me on social media at Steve P. Young, and we'll send a note when we go live. All right, guys, I appreciate you guys so much for all this stuff, for being here. Gladiosa Games, can you do ASO for my apps? We can. So if you want to hire us, you know, check us out or send me an email. Just go to appmasters.com. Or if you want to free out it, just go to, where's my menu? Where's my cool little banner? <laughs> where's it? Oh, I can't show it until I get rid of appmasters.com slash audit. And you'll find that there as well. All right. Yash. Good to see you, Mr. Loud Stream. But whenever I listen to some amazing stuff, good stuff to see you. Good stuff to see you, Yash. Happy Diwali. All right. Thanks for the live stream. We'll probably book the call with you. Good stuff. <laughs> Don't mean he didn't download my mobile game. Download his mobile game, man. He's only 17. He needs some help. All right. <laughs> I think that's it, guys. I don't think I miss anything else. All right. Until next week. I'll see you. Have a great weekend. Peace out. That's it. Are you done? Are you sure? All right. See you.